As the measles outbreak spreads across the country, including to neighboring states like Illinois and Minnesota, pediatricians and politicians are joining the discussion about vaccines. Some pediatricians are now even refusing to see kids who have not had their shots, but some politicians like the U.S. Senator Rand Paul argues parents should have the freedom to choose whether they want their kids vaccinated. Last year, there were nearly 650 cases of measles in the U.S., and this year, in just one month, there were already over 100. Wisconsin hasn't had a reported case, but it's likely just a matter of time. NBC 26's Eric Kress takes a deeper look into the outbreak. In Northeast Wisconsin, health professionals will be the first to tell you getting vaccinated for the measles is your best line of defense. There's a multi-state outbreak going on right now. Be sure to check your child's immunization record to make sure that they have received the two doses um, of the MMR vaccine. Getting vaccinated isn't on the to-do list for everyone, though. Turns out 1 in 12 don't get their measles vaccine on time or at all, and for that demographic, things could get even worse. In about 9 out of 10 individuals who are exposed to measles who aren't protected um, will catch measles. And while the symptoms can start mild enough. You start out with cold-like symptoms. Um, you develop a high fever. The virus can go undetected for four days before the worst symptoms can even show up. Ear infections, sometimes with hearing loss diarrhea, uh, more severe complications would include pneumonia, sometimes even brain damage or death. So the overriding message here, for a state that doesn't have a confirmed case yet, measles can be about 90% contagious if you're not immune or didn't get the shot. And for about 30% of the people who catch it, the results can be significantly worse than the flu. Eric Crest, NBC 26. A measles vaccination is about 95% accurate, and the shot comes in two sessions for most between the ages of 1 and 6.